Everybody always wants to know how I get my hair to go from this to something that looks way more awesome and a little less crazy. Okay, so part one is you get in the shower, you completely wet your hair, and then you actually run your fingers through your hair like a comb. Then the next part is you get yourself a big handful of conditioner. Not too big. I get about this much. Um, I've got shoulder length hair. And then you put that on your hair like you would normally and then comb that through as well. A couple of tangles. But anyway, you just comb it through like you would with a regular comb. I don't use a comb because it tends to disturb the curl a lot more than your finger does. So this may actually be the most important part is the drying. And like I said, I use uh, something that's sort of like a t-shirt and it says curls like us. That's who makes it. Um, before I had this, I actually did use a t-shirt. You can use that too. So you flip your hair. I'm sure most of you have probably done this before to get some extra volume. You flip your hair over and then you just pull down all your curls off the back of your neck. Pull them all down forward. And then take the t-shirt or your towel. Don't use a regular towel because like I said, that'll disturb your curls. And you just scrunch. You just squeeze the water out of your curls. Don't rub because again, that'll disturb the curl and you'll get frizz. So I scrunch all the water out. So the next thing I do, two stars of the show, take the light hair conditioner. A pretty good handful of it. Wipe it on both hands, flip the hair again, and then I run it through like a comb, exactly like I did while I was in the shower. Then I take our next star, the sugar gel cream and you can use um, a lot of different gels this is my favorite because it's really light and uh, I don't like to weigh down my uh, my curls too much so you get a good portion of that this stuff smells pretty good too both hands again and this time instead of combing you're gonna scrunch just like you did when you were drying but with your fingers okay and then last step is that I put in some of the angel which is from Divashon and I do a little bit less of it than the sugar and the conditioner because this is really just to be sure that while you're drying your hair with the hair dryer that your curls keep their shape. And this is another scrunch. So now on to the drying section. Um, I have these nifty little curl clips that are also from Divashon. You can either get, uh, you can get the cheap ones like at Sally's or wherever. These tend to pull your curls though, so I really don't like them. I prefer the, these plastic ones from Divashon. So um, I will show you what you do with these to give your hair volume at the roots. That's really what these are for. Okay, so I take the curl clips, I get two at a time. And then I go along the, where the part, the natural part in my hair is. I start in the back and I just get two little chunks of hair and then I clip these together so that they stand up. That's really the key thing that I didn't understand when I first started doing this. I put the clips in my hair and I was like this really isn't working for me guys. But you have to actually clip them together and that will make them stand up on your scalp. Take the funky little contraption. I, um, I dry my hair on high and then warm. I don't do hot because hot is not really that great for your curls. Um, and I have a Rusk Speed Freak hair, hair dryer and then the Divashon um, adapter just fits on on top of it. So here we go. The first thing that I'm doing is drying the roots of my hair right here at the base. And so that means that the hair right here will uh, will have some lift to it when I'm done. So then the next thing that I do is I stick my this hand looking thing into my curls so that I get um, it gets in between the different fingers and this again will dry the roots but it will also begin to dry your actual curls. So I go around my whole head doing that. I go into each section, I go around into the back and you can tell my hair is still not dry at all. It's, it's drier at the base though and that's really the key thing here is you want to get a good base. So then after that I will take the curl clips out of my hair and you can see how where I had them in my hair sort of sticks up which is good because we want some volume there you don't want a flat head of hair and then suddenly a big poof on the back I mean unless you're on Jersey Shore no offense Snooky.
And you can see what I'm doing is really just pushing the curls up against my head. I don't push too hard, but if you push closer, then you can actually get the base of your hair again while you're drying. So it's sort of a double-edged way to dry. So then the next thing that I'll do is I'll flip my hair back and I'll actually dry while I'm standing up so I can see what shape it takes. And the more often that you do this, the better you'll get the hang of it, you know, like anything. But you'll also be able to tell when your hair is starting to get a little bit drier and when you need to actually dry it in a different direction. So here's what my hair looks like when it's, you know, almost dry. It's not quite there yet. And if you're anything like me, you get sick of drying your hair. It's not your favorite thing to do. So I actually take a break and I go and get dressed to cool off because it's really hot in my bathroom right now. Um, and then I'll come back and I'll finish drying it later. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. Okay, so I'm back and I got dressed and while I was getting dressed, my hair actually air dried a little bit more, which is another great benefit of taking a break because now it's cooler in my bathroom. So I'm going to finish drying and uh, then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just went in for my third and final power dry. I flipped my hair over again, which is again my favorite way to dry my hair because it lets your curls hang down. So my hair is pretty dry now. There's a couple of places underneath that still aren't dry, but that's okay. They always take the longest to dry anyway. This is how you fluff your hair. This is another key thing that I learned from Jeffrey um, on how to make your hair voluminous and luscious. So here we go. Again, flip your hair over, stick your hands up under the roots, and then quick shake. Um, in a couple of hours from now, actually maybe not even a couple hours, about 30 minutes, the time that it takes me to get to work, my hair will be completely dry. I'll flip it over again and I'll do another little tussle and you know, you get great curls. They're there, they're here all day. Um, there's a couple of different ways to style this too that I also like. Um, I learned a really cool way from my friend Gabby who runs a really awesome blog. I'll link you to that. Um, she does her hair where she leaves her bangs down in the front and then she pins it up into a frohawk. Bobby pins are a curly girl's best friend. Um, that's a really cool way to do it. Um, sometimes I just leave mine down. There's all kinds of ways. So in future videos, I will show you how to do a bunch of different styling, but that's how I get my hair to be curly and look great all day. Thanks for watching.